Thousands of Catholics gathered today for Pope Francis's first mass and canonization on U.S. soil. Pope Francis led the ceremony in Spanish in front of more than 20,000 faithful at the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. That's on the campus of Catholic University in Washington, D.C. During the Mass, the Pope declared controversial 18th century Spanish missionary Junipero Serra to be enrolled among the saints. It was the end of a packed schedule that also included a parade by the National Mall and a meeting with President Obama. Father Scott Nolan, a pastor at Basilica of St. At Albert in Grand Rapids was one of 900 priests chosen to attend today's Mass. We had a chance to talk with him about the historic occasion. One of the things that I was struck by was the way that it, it's a papal event, so it's huge, it's beautiful, it's a, a giant choir, and it's also so very ordinary. The prayers of the Mass are the same prayers that, that we say every Sunday at our, at our own parishes. Uh, but now we're, we're here with Pope Francis, and it, it makes it such a, a beautiful and historic moment. Here's a look at the rest of the Pope's schedule. Tomorrow morning, he'll address Congress in Washington. Then Friday, he's off to New York, where he'll speak with the U.N. and visit the 9-11 memorials. He lands in Philadelphia Saturday morning. And our own Brian Sterling heads to Philly in the morning to cover the Pope's visit. Watch for his live report starting tomorrow at 5 o'clock.